Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss quality assurance interview questions. Let's start. What is 21 CFR Part 11? Title 21 CFR Part 11 of the Code of Federal Regulations deals with Food and Drug Administration Guidelines on Electronic Records and Electronic Signatures in the US, United States. Part 11, as it is commonly called, defines the criteria under which electronic records and electronic signatures are considered to be trustworthy, reliable and equivalent to paperworks. Next, let us see what is an SOP. A standard operating procedure is a certain type of document that describes in a step-by-step -step outline from how to perform a particular task or operation. Everyone in a company must follow the same procedures to assure that tasks are performed consistently and correctly. Most companies have a wide variety of SOPs that describe how to do different tasks. In many companies, technicians and operators are trained in how to follow individual SOPs and their training record specifies which SOPs they are trained on and are authorized to use. What are user requirements? User requirements specification describes what users require from the system. User requirement specifications are written early in the validation process, typically before the system is created. It is written by the system owner and end, end, end users with input from quality assurance. Requirements outlined in the URS are usually tested in the performance qualification. User requirement specifications are not intended to be a technical document. Readers with only a general knowledge of the system should be able to understand the requirements outlined in the U.S. Next, let us see what is a validation plan. Validation plan defines the scope and goals of a validation project. Validation plans are written before a validation project and are specific to a single validation project. Validation plans can include deliverables, documents to be generated during the validation process, resources, departments, personnel to pass it speed in the validation process. Let us see now what is an OQ document. Operational qualifications are a collection of test cases used to verify the proper functioning of a system. The operational qualification test requirements defined in the functional requirements. Operational qualifications are usually performed before the system is released for use. Let's see what is a PQ document. PQ document is nothing but performance qualifications. Performance qualifications are a collection of test cases used to verify that a system performs as expected under simulated real world conditions. The performance qualification test requirements that were defined in the user requirement specification are possibly the functional requirements. Due to the nature of performance qualifications, these tests are sometimes conducted with power users as a system is being released. Now let's see what is an IQ document that is installation qualifications. Installation qualifications are a collection of test cases used to verify the proper installation of a system. The requirement to properly install the systems was defined in the design specification. Installation qualifications must be performed before completing operational qualification or performance qualification. 
uh, what is a validation summary report you know it is nothing but a report provides an overview of the entire validation project that is validation summary reports provide an overview of an entire validation project when regulatory auditors review the validation projects they typically begin by reviewing the summary report let's see what is a change request this is the last question we discuss here what is a change request change control is a general term describing the process of managing how changes are introduced in a control system in validation this means how changes are made to validate the system change control is required to demonstrate to regulatory authorities that validated systems remain under control after system changes change control systems are favorite target of regulatory auditors because they vividly demonstrate an organization capacity to control its systems hope this video is helpful for you before your interview let's uh, if you want to know more interview questions on quality assurance you have to go and read on pharmawiki.in do not uh, forget uh, the link is given in the description below please thank you so much have a good day